with this incredible cereal like no joke it's the best i mean protein boosted with actual chunks of chocolate i'm not sponsored i just want to put you guys onto the best things anyway after that it's skincare spf and then i've got to sort my hair out because it's looking a little bit of a mess before picking up an outfit that will hold up to everything i've got to do today as well as still looking kind of cute okay so sammy's going eventing tomorrow and today he has water treadmill I am also late, so oopsies. Catherine's here, so let's go get some ponies. And another thing I've got to say is that little Oshin is coming over here because Catherine is also going to be venting him, which he is the coolest little horse if you haven't met him already. He's not mine. Um, he's not Catherine's. He's a friend's horse, but tiny. For the first time in ever, uh, we think. Also, wore a rug last night because we had to. Well, let's see. We Catherine had to clip all his hair off while I was away, and he just looks adorable. I mean, look at this. So cuteness overload. I'm just taking Sammy's rug off, and look at the size difference. <laughs> Sammy's is literally like on the floor like this is fly rag like it reaches the floor tiny's finish is like here which is like half the size like i mean i know sammy's a giant and tiny's name literally explains his height but he's even after all these years like he's just so cute anyway now all the ponies are very happy with full bellies after their breakfast it's time to sort out the lorry for sammy's adventure of the day because he is going to the water trap motor to hit the gym build up some muscles but it also kind of helps him work on his balance and his self-carriage which is obviously a very good thing for him to work on as a horse and i was very proud i mean look at me i look so muscular like getting that ramp down on my own but i put the hena in and we kind of like to have it nice and low so they're not cranning their necks to eat the hay while they're traveling and then i sort of just put some shavings down so that he's nice and comfy took out any bits of poo that i'd missed and i then went to find some travel stuff for sammy so he's nice and protected on his journey so i found a little tail guard and a tail bandage before plaiting up his tail so it's out the way of the water for when he's on the treadmill later sort of just secured it with the bandage before whipping the tail guard on top I always forget how um, happy Percy is when you give him a new feel. Why? He like trots around with his ears pricked and like gallops around. And... That's so cute. And he um, squeaks fell over. Oh. Well, when um, I got to take Percy to squeaky field and squeaky went to go and bite him, Percy lunged at him and he was like, ah, fell over. <laughs> <laughs> like lost his back end from underneath. <laughs> Like, well, someone told you off, Squeaky, yeah. and then he walked behind yeah, Percy at like a five metre distance, so he just get kicked. <laughs> well, everyone's telling uh, Squeaky off then. Yep. Yeah, Sammy told him off. Everyone's had enough of them. Yeah. <laughs> I did, well, Sammy, like, he did that thing with his head where, like, you know, it, not like a rear or anything, but you know when yeah. you're going to, like, and I went, don't do that, and he was like, and then when Squeaky was annoying him, the Squeaky walked over, I was like, hi! And then, yeah, Sammy was like, you know. No, 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 no. You're allowed to lift the leg That's any time you like. Did I Don't you worry. I told him. My ears were back. I did not like him. <laughs> he good boy. After discussing the latest friendship drama between all of the horses, uh, it was time to make up feeds. They've got lunch, dinner, and breakfast for the next day. Hi. Love you so much. So surprisingly today, I was actually running ahead of schedule, which, you know, me, that's very surprising. But so because I had a little bit of extra time, I helped Catherine set up the jumps for this afternoon, which was a very cool course. There were lots of bounces, there was a corner, and the jumping field is looking incredible because we've actually been working a lot on the ground this year. And you'll get to see Percy jumping later in this video. So, you know, keep keep watching for that because he's very cool. Now it's time to go and grab Sammy from his stable, put his cute like i love his head color it's such a pretty color and then i loaded him up the ramp and onto the lorry which is a very good loader let's go to the water treadmill you're so cute me a favorite little bit over over okay. oh my God. <laughs> he's too cute look at his little nose <laughs> he does the 
this all the time. <laughs> you can't escape. He used to do that as well when he was in stables with bars. And it was one of the things that they also told us when we bought him that he did. Like he likes to put his nose where it doesn't belong, you know? He's so cute. Also, I'm really upset because last time, well, while I was away, the Wellington CDI was on and I always quite like going to the water treadmill when that's on because you get to see, you know, all the Olympi all the Olympians, all the pros, but I missed out this year. So we hit the road and it's actually not too far, but they had all the FEI flags, which I think was teasing me, the fact I missed the CDI this year. We've arrived at Wellington, Sam is in the back. Um, we arrived here a little bit early, so I'm just gonna sit and wait and I don't know, contemplate my life. <laughs> also, I feel like my hair is really blonde here, and it always does this in the summer. That I swear I haven't dyed it, it's like the streaks at the front, but it doesn't do it anywhere else in my head. So, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, can I get encouraged just yet? There we go. And off the ramp he went, and he actually managed to do an incline on the water treadmill of the day, oh which he hasn't had that big of an incline. Yeah, and these are the only clips I took, but there will be a full vlog out about the first time he went on the water treadmill, and so we're back at the yard. That's you. Mm. Go to our stable. Or your stable. You can have a little sleep. And for some reason today, Tiny decided to eat through all of his hay net that normally lasts for an entire day. So I filled that up as well as because the youngsters, they're dropping off condition a little bit much. So we're actually giving them lunch. So I grabbed their lunches and Tiny's hay net and I took them over to the stable. So here Aww. is Sammy and he loves his lunch so much. Like he munches it and then has an afternoon sleep. And Tiny obviously enjoyed his hay net because, I mean, wow, Tiny is just a like boy. a perfect little horse. But Catherine was grabbing Percy in so she can ride him while I chucked Squeaky his lunch. And, I mean, he is an adorable baby little pony. Oh, he's so sleepy. So sleepy. Oh, I thought Sammy was going to go to sleep then. Whoa. These eyes are actually closed. Like, that's... Percy because he's being a very good horse at the moment. By this time the little Oshin had arrived and he'd settled into his stable and I think we're starting to make friends with all the horses and it was also getting a little bit late in the afternoon so I grabbed their buckets because it was dinner time for the horses. I don't think I filmed it because my phone was about to die but earlier Catherine sorted out Sammy's stud holes and I sort of helped but mainly she was doing it because I don't know actually why I think she's just better at them than me so he is all basically good and yeah we've got a little Oshin, a little icy wicy. So Catherine is also riding him tomorrow. Look how cute he is. He is adorable. And yeah, we need to do his stud holes and she's gonna section his mane. So I'm just waiting for these little guys to finish and then he can go out and well, Sammy's hiding, but Sammy can also So, despite outside. it being summer, it actually decided that it was going to rain tonight, which I think is quite rude. But we chucked all the horses' rugs on, which were lightweights with no fills to keep them dry, but not too warm. Hello. Hello. I love you. Hello. 
And we don't normally put hoof oil on the horses, but this stuff is like oil free, it's water based because it's been so dry that the horse's feet have started cracking. Hey, sir. Say you. Yeah? So Sammy has a very strict routine when he goes out to the field, which is to have a drink of water for no reason, I don't know why. And today no. Squeaky decided to watch him, which he's not always a fan of him doing. He finds him a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go turn Tanny up. I know! He's following me! I don't know! Who, who asked Who asked for this? A kiss? Come here then. Thank you, sir. I'm I... it. Yeah. Let me help you. <laughs> I, I didn't even realise. Oh. You're getting a little bit closer to the teeth. Oh, squeeze. Squeezy squeaks. <laughs> See, he ate all the grass I gave him. Yeah, but he struggled. Let's do it first. Oh look, wow. and then it's like spaghetti. Three. Alright, let me just go cry. Okay. Look at you! Wow, I'm so itchy. So cool. Now a tiny turned out, it meant that I've got to go finish the yard. And for the first time in quite a while, that means there's three stables to mark out. Uh, because you probably noticed, but Percy and Squeaky live out 24-7 at the moment because it's summer, whereas Tiny and Sammy live in during the day. And Oshin was just here, here for the night, having a little sleepover. But why do Tiny and Sammy live in during the day? Mainly because I've never known a horse that actually love a stable as much as Sammy. Like the amount of times that I've come in and he's black out with sleep is actually mildly concerning. But at least he's getting his beauty sleep, at least he's getting his REM sleep. And yeah i mean if he wants to do that i'm not gonna stop him and when i say like he loves his stable i've known him to try and turn around when it's trying to rain to go back inside like he genuinely loves his stable and i wouldn't i wouldn't lie about something like that you know anyway you can probably see but we use obvious bedding for the horses because they like it we like it because it's quick and easy to do and um, we do dig them out every now and then because like we wouldn't leave manky wet bedding in a stable that's just that's not nice like we don't we don't deep lift like that like all the all of the wet comes out so don't you worry about that um but then i had to go on my little travels up to the market keep to dump it out because what's the point in mucking out if it's just gonna sit in a wheelbarrow and the market keep was at a point where i was like this is not looking aesthetic at all so i just got the fork and made it look a little bit flatter and then it was time to do some hay nets so the reason there are so many hay nets is because i was prepping them for going eventing tomorrow just because it's nice to take some extra hay with us on the lorry because if we run out like we're an, at an event, it's not like we can pop around the shops to get some more. So we always make sure that we've got at least one spare hay net whenever we're travelling. Uh, and also I was doing one for Tiny because the boys don't tend to have any in their stables. But as you can see, I got like a little hay bag ready as well. And then it was time to load up the wheelbarrow because I had to go and deliver my hay to Sammy and Tiny's stable. And I like to tie the hay nets up when I'm travelling around because the amount of times that they fall out and there's hay just everywhere over the yard is ridiculous and yeah there's sammy's little hay pile but then i went up to go see squeaky because as i said it was going to rain so he was having a rain sheet on but he decided that actually like he's a big boy now he doesn't need a rug so he walked away from me uh, to go find him again and chuck it on and because he walked away i thought you know we'll just do this nice and slowly so don't you worry i do know how to put a rug on properly but he was just being a little sensitive little soul little baby and look how cute he is Aww. in his little rug what an adorable <laughs> adorable little guy like we just love him so much got a little shadow again so 
Oh, who is that? It's a little grey pony, and as you can see, he tucked himself right in to eating on the grass. He was so happy. Squeaky was a little bit confused about who his new friend was, and so was Percy, to be honest, because, like, sorry, who's this? Who's turned up at Percy's yard? <laughs> Come here, let me put your rug on you. And to finish up the day, because now now all the horses are actually outside, having, you know, the best time outside, it was time to do waters and also wash up so that all the buckets are prepped for tomorrow morning when we make up feeds. So just gave them a little rinse out, and then I also just popped some hay nets in the lorry so it was ready for tomorrow's day of venting. Well, hey, Percy. <laughs> well, I think that is everything for today so mid the end thank you so much for watching like it genuinely means a lot to me and i don't know that yeah make sure to like comment subscribe and share this video to anyone everyone because it does really help with the algorithm and it means that more people will get to see my videos um yeah so that's it and i'll see you in the next one bye